Hi, I'm Ann Robinson. Let me tell you about Your Story. That's a section in the Makes You Wonder. Your Story is actually a way to uh, equip Christians so that they can help their friends to discover the spiritual stuff. Everybody in the world is having spiritual experiences, even great ones, even epiphanies, but they're afraid to talk about it. And Christians might uh, gently help them to sensitize to it and to reframe sometimes their uh, interpretation of it. And they, they offer that with respect and all gentleness, but um, quite often people are coming up with, you know, silly conclusions, you know, like the universe said to me uh, that this would happen, when in fact it's pretty clear that God's touching their lives. And it would be great if you could just help them to understand that. But you, again, you can't just take over their life or take over their story. You have to do this in a dialogical, uh, conversational, uh, respectful manner and say, well how you want to reframe uh, their experiences. Uh, quite often people are just unaware that the things their experiences are in fact spiritual. They, they call it just about everything awesome, when in fact there are things that bring them to a standstill and we can help them to put in touch with those. One of the big influences is uh, people's backgrounds. Um, so there's an exercise called the parent trap, which just tries to illuminate how um, parental influence or cultural background is very controlling about the way we think. But in fact, uh, op real openness means they're just coming to terms with that a little bit. Um, and there's even a mapping exercise where people can just look over the, a map and, and, and see how it relates to their life. Uh, quite often they'll be able to use that exercise satisfactorily to come to a, a sense of the patterns and the synchronicity, as some people call it, of uh, things happening. Uh, maybe a sense of direction that's been there all along. So your story is a whole set of exercises that help Christian people to dialogue with their non-Christian friends and family members and colleagues about their non-Christian friends' spiritual experiences. Maybe unaware, maybe needing reframe, but they're there. I hope you enjoy it.